My name is Dr. Thomas Mokria. I am the CEO of the first public IVF center in Ethiopia, and I am a fellow in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. The Merck Foundation has been one of our biggest partners. Uh, it has been training uh, important professionals for us, embryologists as well as IVF specialists. Uh, it has trained three of our embryologists, uh, which is all we have right now and uh, it has tra also trained two of our IVF specialists. So it has been playing a very critical part in establishing uh, this center in terms of the human resource. So these embryologists are playing a very important part. Uh, they are doing IUIs, they are doing IVFs, uh, and uh, uh, they are really playing a lot of uh, role in infertility treatment. There are a lot of challenges when it comes to infertility. Um, as you know, women are uh, supposed to have children in societies like ours, in developing nations like ours, and it's almost unacceptable for uh, a couple, for a, uh, for a woman not to have children. And it's very uh, frowned upon, it is stigmatized. So there are a lot of social, political and economic problems. Uh, and apart from that also, uh, there is a psychological problem in the, in the individual perspective. Uh, so it, it is imperative for us to have at least one public IVF center uh, that can address this uh, very rampant problem uh, in our country. And uh, Merck Foundation um, has played a big part in this by uh, increasing the capacity of the, our human resource, both in the embryology side as well as the IVF specialists as well. Embryologist is a, a rate limiting step, uh, just like an IVF specialist. If you don't have an IVF specialist, you cannot do IVF. If you don't have embryologist, you cannot do IVF. So uh, previously, um, all infertile couple who needed IVF for any other advanced uh, reproductive technology used to go out of the country. And it is said that the country loses more than $10 million uh, worth of currency in a year because of this uh, outflux of patients to seek this care. But now that we have this uh, public facility, uh, we like to think that this problem uh, we, are, we are contributing to the alleviation of this problem somehow, but for now uh, it's a very good start and we are becoming uh, very successful in what we are doing right now. Uh, we have done more than 150 IVF cycles currently and uh, around 50% of the couples are now pregnant. So it's a very good success and uh, the, the quality of the training also shows in the success as well. Uh, our embryologists are, are doing very well as, as our IVF specialists as well. So uh, this is uh, very important for the country as a whole. So I would like to uh, thank uh, Mark Foundation for giving us this opportunity uh, in training our embryologists as well as our IVF specialists and uh, for making them capable enough to have this success that we are having now. And I hope we, our collaboration continues in the future. And uh, not only hope, I'm sure it will uh, continue in the future. Uh, and uh, thank you very much.